Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft. We're in 1.8 and that means a beautifully clean new lapis world for me to make things on. Uh, the thing I want to show you is this thing right here. This thing right here is a chicken jockey racetrack. I think this thing is amazing. Uh, I know it's been done before by Doc M in his um, uh, Rune Goldberg machine on the, the Minecraft server, but he didn't really quite have this many chickens and he didn't have some sort of detection system for uh, finding out who our glorious leader was. Uh, let's see if we, it'll work for me a second time. And they're off again. Oh, this is good. As you can see, red is screeching out into the lead this time, followed by green. Uh, this obstacle is the worst on the course for these guys. Uh, they come around the ice. Uh, this is going well. And today, blue wins. Hey! So as you can see by that, it is completely random every time, which I, I feel is um, quite important in a, in, a, in a race like this. Um, it would be quite boring if just the same thing happened over and over and over again. Um, I'm not sure what the, the, the limiting factors are, what, cha what changes things. I know that if you don't have these half, uh, these snow layers here, they all bunch up around this corner. So that, that's important. Anyway, I'll show you what's going on, because, you know, we're not just watching this to look at this. If you are just watching this to watch these guys go around in a circle, um, you're done here. Uh, I'm going to talk about redstone now and why this happens. <laughs> Mm, yeah, that's annoying. But anyway, so what happens is when that button gets pressed, we get a little torch here. Boom. Now, the first thing that happens is this clears the torch. We've, we've had a pulse from the torch. It's fired up along all this redstone. We don't need anything else. Uh, the second thing that happens, a single tick later, is we summon in uh, zombies that, of course, are babies riding chicken... Oh riding chickens, because that's how you make a zombie chicken. Uh, and then a whole load of named stuff and we give them coloured helmets so we can tell them apart from up above because that's very important. Uh, we do that four times, different colour codes for each one. Um, I'll try to include a uh, link in the doobly-doo down below about where you get these colours from because it's not at all straightforward apart from blue which is 255. That, that, that's a nice straightforward one. Okay, so after the, the, the chickens are summoned, the um, villager in the minecart is summoned. Let's, let's get him in back in. There he goes. Um, the reason we have a little bit of a break is that so hopefully their AI picks up on him. Uh, the, the zombie AI picks up on him. And it, uh, we don't end up with chickens walking back past this line, which, is, which happens quite a bit, unfortunately. Um, I, I do have some ideas on how to, to sort that out, but just you know, as a concept video, uh, I think this shows everything quite well. Uh, and then you'll notice this thing ticks off. Uh, that is to start this clock. Um, this is our detection system. Uh, without this, we wouldn't know where any of the zombies were. In fact, most of the way around, we don't know where the zombies are. But these four command blocks here, they check for zombies um, using the new AT-E uh, with the 1.8. I think, uh, yeah, that's great. Um, finding out how to do this little custom name tag at the end here was, was quite different because it used to be that you just put um, you know name equals in there but now you've got to give it a data tag at the end um, and then we did that for each one you'll see the data tag is different for, for each zombie name at the end there um, uh, then we're given an indication as to which one won now this could quite easily be going off to some sort of gambling system you know, if you had a line of hoppers in the middle uh, and then this would set a redstone block next to the hopper to, to you know count which which one's won and then the payout will be done on how many items are in the hopper or something I, I know I, I, just a rough sketch idea of how that could possibly work but I, I see this actually being like three four times the size with like maybe 16 chickens or something and a whole load of players around the outside but uh, betting in in hoppers and yeah I don't know. anyway and then the last thing that happens is these uh set this set block command puts a redstone block in this gap here which just basically runs a whole load of kill and uh kill uh commands and this which does its best to disrupt this um, this clock here because I'm all about trying to keep the clock used to the minimum when the thing's not running because well I don't run the best machine and I come from a server where there, we have a few la lag issues so I, I like to be able to keep on top of this stuff so yeah that, that's it that's my uh, chicken zombie possibly with gambling system in place um, yeah, I, I think this is great I, I, I read I think there's a lot of room for expansion uh, and making this greater uh, but you'll notice doesn't matter how packed in they are oh, i didn't quite show at that time but it doesn't matter how packed in they are the first one will always be displayed 
first on the list. Anyway, yeah, this has been great. Um, I've got some more stuff to show you guys. Um, this is going to be like my version of Paperboy, and then I've got another one that I'm going to build over here. Uh, literally coming in the next couple of days. So yeah, if you if you want to subscribe, I'll bring that to you very shortly. Bye.